from Creamer Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Fujifilm has opened its new, more compact innovation sensor in Johannesburg in an effort to get closer to its customers. Natasha Urendahl tells us more. Fujifilm South Africa has unveiled its brand new innovation center Africa to deliver more of a story to its customers, showcasing its latest solutions in a layout aimed at stimulating conversations about the value and capabilities of the high-tech corporation's offerings instead of just products. Fujifilm South Africa MD Takeo Hata speaks to Engineering News during a recent tour of the new warehouse and showcase hub. We want to engage with more customers, so we need such kind of facility. So then it would be nice to have the facility showcase. So we had a showcase here and then just opened today as a so-called Fujifilm Innovation Center Africa. I don't want to utilize this space for the showing the products. Mm. We want to uh, explain about the not product, but more uh, story. Mm. Yeah, I think if we, we want to just sell products, we can just display as much as we want. But it's not so valuable to them. So what kind of value we can deliver to them? We will show more samples what kind of application they can enjoy after purchase. Mm. So then they can imagine, this is nice, I want to utilize this. They can think of the occasions. So if we just um, exhibit the product, no one think of, not just, oh, I don't like this color. Oh, what's the print? Oh, I don't like printer, if they are not interested. But once we start to talk about those uh, value to the customer, they start have more interest. Fujifilm operates not only in the digital imaging space, but also medical systems and healthcare solutions, graphic systems, electronic imaging, large format printing, and photo printing and finishing. We have the four different industries. Uh, one is a photo or imaging industry. A second is a electric imaging, like so-called digital camera industry. And the third one is a graphic industry, who does the print printing, offset printing. Then fourth one is medical customers. So you can imagine the difference of the customer, more end user, consumer, to the more business to business. So graphic guys deal with uh, like brand owner, the medical, like hospitals. So they are very different industries, yeah. But sometimes we can think of the combination. For example, we can promote our medical solution then we can also introduce graphic solution to the customer. Like you saw X-ray room, mm. you can see if we have nice picture here, patient become more relaxed. We can introduce that kind of combined solution to the customer. So, so that kind of value we can think of. Because of we are facing different clients, so we can think of something new. And that's the kind of the value and the motivation to us. Other news making headlines, ESCOM reverses policy on cost plus mines. In a major political reversal, state-owned electricity producer ESCOM is budgeting to invest in the sustenance of mines that supply coal to the utility on a cost plus basis. The first thing of course was the underinvestment in cost plus mines. That had an impact but it had been decided upon due to capital constraints. This put a strain in the supply of coal. Secondly, there was an issue on Tegeta that did not meet their targets. And three, uh, coal mines were affected. With that, we had to get coal from internal and it affected others, but now, Together is under business rescue, so that has impacted us. The previous board and management, of course, had tried to deal with the issue. They raised the issue with the National Treasury, but there were corporate governance and compliance issues that National Treasury was worried about. It took a bit longer. The new board, which came in January, by February, at least was able, through the engagement, to convince the National Treasury on approving this. This was approved, but the process of coal procurement is a bit different than, say, going to the shop and buying the bread. The process is not as simple as going to the shop to buy the bread. 
but we have done quite a number of things in that respect, and we are beginning to see the results of that. That's Cremo Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.